Hey everybody and welcome to the latest installment of the Golden Eagle Sports Minute. I'm Andy Hyman and let's get right to it. The summer heat is cooling down but don't tell that to the volleyball team. This weekend the ladies were on fire as they continued their dominant role when they hosted the Brockport Invitational. Coming off a blowout win over the U of R on Wednesday, the Golden Eagles shut down three of four opponents including two shutouts. One of the brightest stars of the tournament is Noel Poloncars who not only leads the team in assists but leads the whole SUNYAC conference and assists. Talk about being a good neighbor. She's always there. Also, watch out for Kelly Waters, whose 583 hitting percentage is good for first in the conference. The ladies get a well-deserved break and don't play again until this Friday when they open up Suniac Pool Play at home against Oneana, Corlin, and Buff State. From the hardwood, we take things outside to the turf for women's soccer. The ladies traveled out to Deuville last Wednesday and came home with a one nothing blinking of the Spartans thanks to a goal from Sabrina DeBellis and and a shutout goaltend from Daniel Orgodowski. The Golden Eagles tried to go 2-0 when they traveled to Mandai College on Saturday, but Mother Nature had other plans. Nasty thunderstorms and rain postponed the game to a date to be announced. When you go and play a game, you normally plan on playing the opponent, not the weather. But now let's go to the field hockey where the, they played a couple of opponents and it was weather free. Unfortunately, weather free doesn't always guarantee a win as the losing streak continued for the Golden Eagles as they lost 3 to nothing to the U of R on Thursday and the hotly contested 1-0 battle at Hartwick. The Golden Eagles will try and beat the streak when they host New Pulse on Friday at 4 p.m. Tennis has been on a losing streak of its own and are searching for their first win of the year. Sadly, the streak continued as the Golden Eagles dropped three matches this past week. Not all is bleak for the Golden Eagles as freshman Sarah Mensa continues to play well in an individual play. While the team didn't get any wins, Mensa got three individuals and added a win in doubles with her partner in crime, Kelsey Shanahan. We warned you last week that they were good. Side note, Sarah Mensa and Kelsey Shanahan are a deadly combo. Hey, who is that guy? What a beard. Now on the men's and women's cross country where both teams finished 15th out of 29 teams. Top runners for the men included Stephen Davies and Sean Kewen, who both finished in the top 100. Abigail Williams was the only runner from the women's team to finish top 100. Both teams will compete in next weekend in the Harry Anderson Invitational at Roberts Wesleyan. Men's soccer picked up its first win of this regular season, shutting out St. John Fisher 2-0. Goals were scored by Quentin Volpe and Justin Mercer. They were set to play at Madai on Saturday, but second verse, same as the first. Like with the women, the weather had other plans. Next up for the Golden Eagles is a matchup at Fredonia on Friday. And lastly, football played on the road at Hartwick for their conference opener, and it was a battle. Brockport exchanged several scores with the Hawks en route to a 38-35 victory. QB Brian McKean was electric and threw for 380 and three touchdowns, while staunch Golden Eagle defense forced three interceptions to help lift the Eagles to a 2-1 record. Next game is Saturday in the annual Courage Bowl matchup against St. John Fisher. That game at 4 p.m. And that's going to do it for me. We'll see you next week. As always, check out the Athletics homepage for up-to-date stats, stories, and more on all of your favorite Brockport Golden Eagles sports. For the Golden Eagles Sports Minute, I'm Andy Hyman.